Hey guys, it's Joel here from AMRAP, as many reviews as possible, and I'm coming back at you with a final impression video and uh, what I think of the Nike Metcon 1s. Um, I've had these shoes for about one full month now. I've done pretty much every workout you can think of, running, weightlifting, gymnastics, and uh, in conclusion, I, I think that these shoes are the best CrossFit shoes in the market right now. Um, that's not just saying because I like Nike. I do like Nike, but I, I also do like Reebok, and I like I really like the Nano. Um, but I just think that the Metcon is a better shoe. Well, for me, at least. Um, it has a little bit more arch support, and that works for me a little bit better than the... Uh, the flat sole of the Nano 4. Uh, that's probably what I was referring to when I said it, it felt the same, but it feels a little different. I mean, the shoe's still wide and it's still got a real stable platform, uh, but it's got just a little bit more contouring in the, the insole and a little bit better arch support. Um, I still haven't actually rope climbed with them yet, but I've heard stories from people that I know that these shoes are extremely, extremely good for rope climbing. They really hold the rope well. Uh, the sticky rubber works. Uh, other than that, um, as far as wear goes, these are actually brand new. Uh, I did actually get a pair of nine and a halfs, so my true size, and they fit. They fit snug at first, but after a little bit of wear, they broke in and they're they're perfect. They fit absolutely 100% perfect on my feet. Um, so, once again, size exactly like you would the Nano 4.0s. Um, other than that, yeah. Not much more I can say about the Nike Metcon 1s. They are my go-to shoe. I try to wear them... Uh, more than any other shoe just because I, I really don't I really don't have any reason to go back to my Nano 4s I don't really I don't really use weightlifting shoes too much um, unless I'm really trying to hit a PR or something I try to do everything in my my normal shoes and the Metcon ones are fine for all of that uh, I've squatted 90 up to 90 percent I've hit a deadlift PR a sumo deadlift PR Oh, one thing that I wanted to I wanted to note is that um, the edges are a little bit more sharp on the outsole of the Metcon One, and I find that that gives me a little bit more stable of a platform um, laterally, so I don't uh, my my knees don't cave in. I have a little bit of a a little bit more to torque out onto when I squat, and. Uh, and I find that that is an uh, improvement over the Nano 4.0. Nano 4.0 kind of has like more of a rounded edge around the sides of the outsole. So that's a, a major plus. But I mean, if you're looking for a shoe to, to do CrossFit in, to, to do general fitness stuff in, uh, most people are going to be able to get a discount on the Nano 4s. So if if you're just looking for a shoe that works, the Nano 4s are gonna be fine. If you want the best shoe, then I would probably spend the extra what 30 bucks over that 25% discount that you you get with Reebok, and and go with the Metcons. But I know they are a little bit hard to get right now. Um, I don't really have any kind of inside information on when they're coming back in stock, but. I snagged these by just signing up for Rogue's little updates for when things come back in stock. Uh, other than that, I know East Bay has them for pre-order and that's probably your best bet. Other than that, you can just wait around and check Nike every day. That's not that efficient though. But yeah, uh, Nike Metcon 1's, highly recommended, definitely. Get yourself a pair if you are a Nike fan, if you are a any kind of fitness connoisseur, shoe connoisseur, they are the best functional fitness, best I want to say fitness shoe in general, if you're gonna all things considered. 